Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C53S, size 12, curved nymph hook, some yellow tying thread, and this is a Pale Morning Dun Mayfly nymph. So we'll just give the hook a foundation of tying thread. We want to go a wee ways down into the hook bend here, just about there, to give the correct shape to the body and get rid of that. We have a wood duck flank. You normally use this side for salmon flies and wet flies streamers, but this side without the barring is excellent for tails and legs. So we want to just separate out about so much and we'll just pull that off. Measure the tail. I want quite a long tail on this and we just pinch it in like so yeah. and then we'll just attach this up the hook shank just as far as the abdomen there we are we can get rid of that now what we want is a length of French tinsel fine silver so I'm going to just attach this leave a little tag at the end on the back side of the hook shank we take this right down into the base of the tail like so just hang that out the way then we want to just fold that over and secure it with a few wraps like that. Now we need a piece of brown marabou. What we want to do with the marabou is get all the tips even at the end like so. Let me just hold that there, we'll go back down into the tail base. Just spin that thread and then what we want to do is just make a couple of looser turns just to hold it in position and then we just pull it gently very carefully till the points are a little bit shorter like so then we can tighten it up and secure it there. Now what we need is some yellow fur dubbing. This is rabbit I'm using which is a very underestimated dubbing I feel. It's, a, it's very easy to use and it's very lifelike. Try and keep those marabou out of the way. So just start off with a bit of this. This is just for now for the abdomen. So we'll just go back a wee ways into the tail base. Like so. And then do our first wrap. Work our way up. The abdomen wants to get thicker as we approach the thorax need a bit more dubbing there this rabbit fur dubbing has excellent movement in the water looks very real realistic very lifelike just work our way up So that's enough for us. So what we do now, take hold of the marabou. Turn the hook that way so you can see. Try not to cross the strands of marabou. Try to keep them. And we've got some going on the wrong side of the hook there. If you can see that. I just need to 
separate those out like so. Those now, now I've got them. Put them over the body, the abdomen, on top only, and then we'll just secure those with two or three turns on top of the marabou and then tighten it down with that. That's good. Then we take our silver wire. What we want now is a few turns right at the tail base, four or five turns of copper wire. Get that out of the way. Tight into each other. I've got a hair there that I'm not happy with. in there then we go on top of the hook shank and we'll make five or six turns to rib the body until we come up the thorax and then we can just wrap this. Now you can use the rest of this wire if you want to give it a little bit of extra weight. You can even use lead wire if you wish but I find this nymph is more than enough with just this on. We just tie that down and then we can remove the rest of the wire with friction. There we are, that's looking good. So get this out of the way. This is going to be the wing case of the rest of the marabou. What I want now is a ostrich hull. And tie this in. Like so. Then we need a bit more of our yellow dubbing for the thorax and then we'll just get that going up there a little bit more forward want the thorax to taper to th from fat to thin that's enough for us let me just go like this then we take our ostrich hull we just want to give it don't want to bring that marabou with us tie that off get rid of that and what we want to do is we want to get our remaining marabou for the wing case I want to pull that over
Tie that off. Remove that. Get in there now. Then go to the front of the hook and work your way up. So we just tie that down. And what we need is our wood duck again. So we just need a few fibres off there like that. And we position that there. Not too tight with the tying thread. And then you can just pull these carefully into position and then you can tighten up a wee bit get rid of those then another bunch the other side and you just position those in Bit too many of that. I'm just going to make a couple of those. Like so. Again, a couple of loose turns. See how long those are. Need to be a bit shorter. Yeah. A couple of tighter turns. Just finish the head off with a whip finish. Oops, and another. Get rid of the tying thread. That's it, that's our finished pearl morning done mayfly nymph. Thanks for watching.